Welcome back, Rebel Herd, to another episode of the Lone Star Wranglers in our first year of this team builder dynasty. We're currently 0-2 after being crushed by both Texas and Houston. Next up on the slate, number 13, Boise State Broncos. Just a quick update for our recruitment status. We added a couple more visits to the schedule. We already had athlete Marshall Hawkins and Mike Kelly coming for a visit, along with Adam Davis, outside linebacker. Today, we added Donnie Palmer, free safety, and Jeremy Waller, cornerback, visit as well. They'll be coming in week 11 along with the linebackers. Furthermore, three defense linemen will come into visit in week 13 as we face Rice, Curtis George, defensive end, Dwayne Lawrence, defensive end, and Eric Coleman, defensive tackle, and then fullback Alvin Jackson will come week nine as we're facing off against Southern Miss. Added a couple guards to the prospect board this week, including Byron Jackson. Scouted out with a plus seven overall. Look at that pass block and run block at a 71. Bumped him up seven overall to 62 overall. Love to see a big guard like him come to our school. After last week, we had an upgrade for Rusty, so we put a point into Locksmith. That way, if we get locked out with any recruits, we can unlock at least one per season. Both coordinators are getting close to upgrades. Maybe after this next game at Boise State, they'll get an upgrade. Our loss against Houston did not help our job security situation at all. We're at down to 45% on the hot seat. This could be a short series if he gets fired after one season. Any major changes to the top 25. Wisconsin still in the top 2-0. Notre Dame lost again. They start off the season as number one overall. They've lost two straight. Coles, who we faced last week against Texas, remains on the Heisman watch. Moving into the Heisman watch is our rival TCU Joe Moore. He's a 96 overall, and we get to play him next week after we face off against Boise State this week. He might move up that list a little bit after playing us. This week, we head to Boise in the blue turf to wrangle some Broncos. They're number 13 overall in the nation. They're bees all across the board. We're gonna go with the gray pants and the gray helmet this week on the road. Alright, let's head to Boise, Idaho, and see how how well we compete with the Broncos. And here we are in Boise, Idaho. A fun fact, I actually ran state track here at this stadium on that track that circles the football field. You know I was a cowboy from Idaho, did you? Stadium's full of blue and orange, and I don't think it's blue for the Lone Star Wranglers. Let's go. Short kick due to the win. We'll take this. Robinson. Still doesn't get past the 20. Looks like we got some new impact players on the offense. Fogarty, our halfback, and Howard, our wide receiver. Fogarty on first down. Rumbles forward for about four yards. Second and six. We'll see if Powell can hit a pass today. Who he does? Howard is wide open down the field. Breaks a tackle and is finally brought down after a 50-yard completion. Holy cow, I thought that might have been an interception. Somehow Powell hits the pass before getting taken down for a sack. And it slips by the DB's hands. And Howard brings it in. That new impact player showed an impact early. Fogarty on the power. Barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Another thing to note, Robinson, our fourth wide receiver and kick returner, punt returner, is also an impact player. He had a big 50-yard gain last week. Robinson across the middle, catches the ball for a first down. Hogarty for a run. Loss of one yard on the play. Lyman couldn't hold their blocks. Hogarty catches the pass. Gets a little bit of a block and gains four yards. Over the middle, Goff had the touchdown and he drops it. Oh, Goff. And just like that, the Wranglers take their first lead of the season. Who would have thought the Wranglers could drive down the field on the opening drive and get three? Uh-oh. Oh, luckily we got off the blocks there. Thought it was going to be a bad kick return. We're back scrambles. Oh, we missed the Ooh. tackle. And he finally slides down. Drop play. Stop him after a gain of four yards. I'd love to get our defense off the field here. Finally bring him down. A quarterback sack for three yard loss. Big play by our middle linebacker, Roberts. Here we go. All the time in the world. Oh, they finally threw it deep. And the wide receiver had come back to catch it. Thought we were about to get off the field. Turns out our defense could hold him. Run play on first down. Bring him down. Another run here on second down. Moss breaks a couple tackles and finally brought down about the four yard line. Oh, and they catch the pass for the touchdown. Robinson taking another kick from the goal line. Some blocks. Oh, oh, you can see Boise's number 10 go out. He's got him Donald Terry. He's gonna be out for a couple weeks. 
Go! I try the option here on second and long. Powell actually gains three yards on the play. Let's see if we can convert here. Powell scrambling out. Oh! And almost falls into the lap of a defensive lineman. Could have taken it to the house. Now we got a punt. I was hoping we could competitive. Hopefully our defense can make that so. We got to get a, fee a stop here. Oh, nobody can bring down Moss. Finally, we do after a gain of five yards. He was ping-ponging off a bunch of players there. Oh, wide open over the middle. First and goal from the A. Let's hope we can get a stop here. Hold him to three. Keep it a one-score game. And that is the end of the first quarter. After a big first drive, Lone Star's only down three to seven. A lot different than being down 20-plus after the first. Dukes almost comes away with an interception there. Great pass deflection. Right up the middle. Oh, he barely slips by a tackle there and falls into the end zone for six. Another injury for the Broncos there. Moss, their starting running back, out for the rest of the game. Oh, Powell can't hit the pass. We hit Haynes on the corner route. Powell actually accurate for once. Holy cow. Here we go. Oh, man. Nope. Didn't get anybody to block on that run play. Brings up third and long. Powell's going to roll out. It's Moss for the first down. A 13-yard catch, and we move the sticks again on this drive. Fogarty up the field, lowers his shoulder and gains 13 yards. Hits Haynes over the middle on the drag route. Looks like both Powell and Haynes are off the field after that big play. But Fogarty again up the middle. He slips through for another gain, but there's a flag on the play. What's it going to be? A clipping call. Oh, man. Well, Haynes is back on the field, but no sign of Powell. I'm hoping he's not too badly hurt. Oh, Smith's even more inaccurate. Oh, Powell's having back spasms. He's not carrying the team that much during the first half. We gotta keep Powell in the game. He's gotta fight through this injury. Powell rolls out. Oh, just barely gets the ball off. Let's see if we can convert this fourth down. Keep this drive going. Get some points on the board. Over the middle. Oh, just inaccurate pass. And it's incomplete a turnover on downs. On defense, I noticed that Neely now has an impact star after his huge three-sack game last week. Ooh, Neely with the tackle there after a five-yard gain. Somebody tackle the quarterback. Oh, there's a fumble. The Wranglers pick it up. Pierre. Oh, he can't keep his feet. That's a hell of a play for the Wranglers. Here we go, Lone Star. Oh, they're going to review the previous play. Was this a fumble or was his knee down? His knee was down. End up getting the first down on the play after the review overturns the fumble. Another 10-yard gain. First down. Oh, another drop play. Somebody take down Anderson. He breaks a tackle. Finally, Carter takes him down after an 11-yard gain and another first down. Another drop play. Oh! Shoves off Robinson. Uh oh And we are just beating up the Broncos today, injury-wise. Our third straight running back is in, and we stack him up. He only gains three yards on first and goal. A bruised elbow for Anderson. He's going to be out for two quarters. Sack there from 98. Jim Neely, impact player, gets his fourth sack of the season, and he's showing why he's got that star next to his name. Oh, it's a screen. There's nobody over there. Oh, 21 walks into the end zone with an escort. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Let's see if we can answer with some points here. Al rolls out. Oh, he can't hit Howard over the middle. Oh. Almost intercepted, trying to hit the corner out for the first down. Matt O'Rourke into punt. It's a short punt thanks to the wind. Uh, 
And he makes the tackle after a 30-yard punt return. Hope we can stop them from scoring before the first half ends. Third Street running back couldn't keep his hands on the ball there. Oh, they get the first down after a 14-yard reception. They get a six-yard rush off the draw play. Oh, we stop him. We had to use a face mask to bring him down. That's going to give him a first and goal. Hey, that's better than letting him to get a touchdown. They run to the right. There's nobody there. 21 runs in the end zone. Roberts gets a little bit of a late hit there. I don't think any flags going to be called, though. Maybe we can get some points, though, before the first half ends. Over the middle to Haynes. Woo! Hurry up, offense. Powell's rolling out again. Oh, and it's intercepted. I thought Robinson was going to be able to sneak past. We're going to squeeze it through there, but no. Oh, and they catch it on the sideline. Hell of a catch to get his feet in bounds and make the completion. Oh, he scrambles up the middle. And he slides down. Oh, Dukes makes a clutch tackle there. That guy might have broken loose for a touchdown. We almost got him on the blitz. Oh, we give him a... Oh, no, they got a false start on the play. That's going to knock him back five yards. Eight seconds left to go in the half. Can we get a stop here? Holding the three. Maybe even less. Oh, he scrambles. Mitchell makes a tackle. Stopping him from getting the first down. Here they are lined up for a field goal. See if they get three before two seconds left to go in the half. We're going to ice him. Here they go. See if we, this affects the kicker at all. Stop him from getting points here. In the, it does affect him. He misses it wide right. Oh, and Rusty Westwood with the mind games messing with the kicker. And that's the end of the first half. Lone Star put the first three points on the board. But Boise State answered back to 28 unanswered. But hey, we're having some good movement on the offense. We actually have positive yards after the first half. 125 yards through the air and seven on the ground. That one turnover has killed us. Four points out of it. We're down 28 to three. Going into the second half, we're kicking off. They almost break that one loose. Their third street running back compared to other running backs we faced this year. We're actually bottling them up. And it's a drop play, and nobody's there. Shoestring tackle by Neely saves a touchdown. That's why he's the impact player. Another run. Roberts gets stiff-armed. Man, he just got shoved right in the face. Oh, and he's gone. We could not make the diving tackles. Two guys dive for his ankles and couldn't get him. Robinson brings it out. We can get a block here. We do on the edge. Robinson, oh! 40 yard return for Robinson. Sets us up in pretty decent field position. Let's see if Powell can move the ball down the field again. Rolling out. Oh! Tries to hit Goff coming back, but the DB makes a hell of a play on the... Oh no, Powell is down. Like that injury came back to bite Powell in the butt. Run Fogarty here on second down just to give Smith some breathing room. Oh, he's fourth and one. We're bringing the big boys onto the field. We're going to go for it here. He falls forward of two-yard gain, moves the sticks. That's what we like to see. Oh, and the ball's down. Goff picks it up and then loses another. We just lost 19 yards on that fumble. Oh, and Powell's out for the rest of the game with a hit pointer. It's Smith the rest of the way. I don't know if he can hit his pass, and Powell's already inaccurate enough as it is. And after some major losses, I would just love to see a defensive stand here. At least one. Oh, no, the option. Everybody goes the other way. Dukes makes a touchdown save and tackle there. Another drop play. Dukes brings him down, but grabs the face mask in the process. And just like that, they're almost already in the red zone. Oh, no. The defense just breaks down there. Nobody even goes to a, make an attempt on the tackle. Oh, man, and nobody blocks the defensive end. 
He pitches to Fogarty. Fogarty breaks a tackle. Keeps it going. Gains 11 yards on the play, and it's third and two. Pullback Henry. Oh, he's face masked. That's going to give us a first down. See if Smith can hit a pass. Oh, trying to hit Fogarty on the drag. Oh, no, it's a fumble. Should have gave that to the fullback. They pick it up, and that's our second turnover of the day. Oh, false start in their own home stadium. They're too loud for the offense to be on the field. Oh, and we bring them down for a loss on the play. Oh. Come on, make a tackle. And the corner gets the tackle on the corner blitz there. I don't know why he slid. He had an open lane to the end zone there, but we'll take it. And that is the end of the third quarter. We're going into the fourth quarter. 42 to 3, Boise State, all over the Lone Star Wranglers. Oh, we commit to the run right, and after a couple broken tackles, somebody finally brings them down short of the goal line. And they're coming out to kick. And it's up, and it's good. Let's see if we can run the option a little bit better this time. Fogarty, oh, he can't bring the ball in. Smith hits Haynes over the middle. It's caught for a 16-yard catch. Smith rolls out to the right. There's no option to pass to. Robinson gains back a bunch of yards, brings up third and two. Fogarty rumbles forward for a four-yard gain and moves the sticks. And we hit Howard on the drag route on the play action play. <laughs> Nothing there. There was people tackling everybody on that triple option play. Fogarty gains five yards on the catch. Smith rolls out. Tries to hit Haynes on the comeback and it's dropped. Smith rolls out again. Oh my god, I don't know where that pass was going. Not even close. With the injuries the Broncos have suffered this game, I'm thinking they're probably just going to run it for the rest of the game. Run down this clock. Oh, we finally get him down on the two-yard line. Oh, we get him for a sack. They're actually passing on first and goal. And Keith Robinson gets his first career sack. And that's the end of the game. We actually hold them to 45 points, and we scored the first three points of the day. And you know what? It wasn't 70 points this week. It means our defense is getting better. And with the way our offense performed, we may not only got three points on the board, but I felt like we were moving the ball a lot more efficiently. We just couldn't finish drives there. We had 11 first downs, 188 yards of total offense. We ran it 23 times, but thanks to sacks, we gained zero yards on the ground. We are 12 for 27, 188 yards through the air. No touchdowns. 50% on fourth down and we were one for one inside the red zone getting that field goal early in the game two turnovers cost us some points i think but hey it wasn't 70 to three it was only 45 to three and i'll take that All right, that that shows me signs of improvement powell led the day 125 yards before getting hurt smith came in and was salvageable five for ten for 63 yards already led the ground attack which is the only player with positive yards 32 yards on nine carries receiving haynes had a great day four catches 62 yards and another great day from Howard, two catches for 67 yards, including the long 50-yard catch in the first drive. Our line gave up four sacks on the day. Dukes leads the team in tackles with seven. Roberts had a good day with four and a tackle for loss and sack. And Jim Neely, impact player, had another sack on the day. Don't forget about Keith Robinson, other impact player. He got his first sack of his career on a safety blitz. After that game, offensive coordinator Chris Fogarty and defensive coordinator Mario Williams both get upgrades. A bunch of recruits are ready to visit. While we may be 0-3, I feel like we're improving every week. Next time we face off against number 15, 3-0 TCU, maybe we'll show up to play at home better this time after improving against Boise State. We'll see you next time. And that does it for this episode of Lone Star Wrangler Football. Until next time, remember, don't drink downstream from the herd. Later, folks.